what up welcome back to my youtube channel and today's tutorial is how to animate a static object in your video so for example i want to animate this gigantic bunny statue here in my video clip here and um, in order to create this visual effect you will require vegas pose suite now vegas pose suite is a package that contains three primary editing software which is vegas pro vegas effects and vegas image all right so you will require vegas pose in order to create this visual effects so anyway you have this video clip here it's a simple tracking forward with tilt up which reveal this bunny statue here and i want to animate this bunny and make it look alive so the first thing that you need to do is to send this clip to vegas effects so all you have to do is just right click on this media and press edit in vegas effects so vegas effects will automatically import the media into the timeline and here is the video clip so i'm just going to quickly mute this uh, video here all right so the first thing that we need to do is uh, to extract a tracking data from this clip so you go to the effects tab here on the right side and search for the effects called auto stabilizer this one and just drag and drop it to the media and the effects will automatically do its thing which it will analyze the video all right so once it's done you see this bunch of tracking points that it creates now do keep in mind it's not a 3d tracker it's still a two-dimensional tracking system so you do not expect these effects to do advanced complex 3d tracking all right so let's go to the control panel tab here on the left side so let me minimize unwanted stuff here so that we can only work with the effects now the effects called stabilizer means it's stabilized based on the points that we pick so we are not stabilizing the media so all you have to do is to uncheck stabilize and go to the mode of feature track all right so um i can see some bit of this vignette thing that's because we haven't changed the crop so let me go back to stabilize increase the crop window yep all right so let's go back to feature track the first thing that you need to do is to find a still frame that you can extract the best tracking data so probably this frame here worked the best and all you have to do now is just select the tracking points okay once it's done try to go through the timeline and if you think it tracked just well just press create a point layer and it automatically create another point layer above your media here in the timeline and you can see the tracking point has been created so we're going to use this point layer to you know parent with the uh mask out object here which is the bunny itself all right so now what you want to do is to duplicate this media here which is the bunny clip and we're going to basically delete the auto stabilizer effects for the duplicated clip because we don't need that and let's just rename this clip real quick bunny all right so now uh same thing you just want to find the best spot where you can freeze frame the clip so probably this part worked the best and once you think so you want to basically cut the clip and find an effect called speed and basically what we are doing here now is to freeze frame this video clips so once you drag and drop it and change the speed to zero press enter and now if we play through the timeline it should freeze frame so what you want to do now is to basically do a masking so i'm just gonna mask out this bunny real quick and i'll come back into the video Alright guys, so I already masked out the bunny and if I play the video clip, you can see the the still frame of the bunny and it currently not been motion tracked to our video at the back here. Alright, so what you want to do now is to basically parent this bunny to the point layer. Now before we do that, it's important for us to extend the uh, length of our bunny here. Alright, so let me just zoom out a bit from the timeline. Now the way of you edit things in compositing software are a bit linear so first thing that you need to do is to make sure your play hit is directly on where the still frame start ends to you know reveal which is on this insert point here 
make sure you play it there at the beginning and then just move this clip away until you think where it should start so i'm gonna start the bunny to be revealed around here and then i just extend it out like this okay now do not move your playhead yet and then go to the you know to the bunny media here and parent to the point layer so that if we play it parent just nice all right so right now you can see once the bunny start to reveal it just suddenly pops out okay it's not perfect so we can actually reduce you know the sudden appear by you know animate the opacity so going to transform here and let's move the opacity all the way to zero percent and gradually increase it to 100 percent oops i forgot to turn on the animate make sure you press the animate button here so we show the keyframes in the timeline move it forward and increase the opacity okay now it won't be perfect and you have to take your time to edit the keyframes and the position where it should start to reveal right like so okay now once we done motion track the bunny we are basically wanted to animate the bunny itself so to animate the bunny we want to use the effect called puppet okay this effect and just drag and drop it into our bunny media okay so let's go to the control panel here so that we can see the effects better and just simply press generate mesh okay once we generate the mesh we can start uh press animate and as you can see you won't do anything yet that's because we have an add point on the mesh that just generate so to do so um you can make sure you press this uh, buttons here and if you hover your mouse over the bunny you can see the plus icon so if you add a point it will basically add a, a control point so this is a control point number one two three four and five okay let's just add five control points for now right so the first thing that you want to do is basically want to animate this this entire points that we have added to the bunny okay so I'm gonna start the animation somewhere around here okay and let's go to the control point let's move this around this is control point three add one keyframe there move it forward and you can start move the control point like so okay do your animations from from time to time and if i play you can see the bunny start to be animate let me build on dynamic ramp review okay and you can add a bunch of control points uh and so on so for control point four which is position four if i'm not mistaken is this one here Okay, so let me add the keyframe here, move it forward, move it somewhere there, start to animate it. Now I'm going to do it roughly here and I'm not going to do it, you know, nicely for the sake of the tutorial. And yeah, we already have our animation start to come in place. Okay, now you can smooth out the keyframes and the animation here, you can select all right click and select smooth so smoothed out the animation or you can do more much more advanced smoothing here by going to the value graph here which uh, you can play around with the settings later now the problem here is that when we animate the bunny here we can still see the background here it's not being key out which is the the video clip itself so we need to cover this with a sky now you can do this in two ways one is using vegas image or one inside the software itself which you will doing the same thing with the bunny clip we extract a steel frames and overlay on top so I'm gonna uh, use the second method so the first thing that I'm gonna do is disable the bunny clip temporarily I'm gonna duplicate this clip and I'm gonna rename it into sky okay so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna find a spot where I think I can extract the best sky from the frame so probably this point here so I'm gonna basically cut the media and add an effect speed to freeze frame oops speed and just drag and drop it to our sky media oh let's delete the auto stabilizer, uh, stabilizer effects and do the same thing 
put in the speed value to zero so it will freeze frame now it's freeze frame so what I want to do now is to basically mask out the sky so I'm gonna find a part which sky that can you know nicely fit here so probably I'm gonna extract this guy here Right, so now I already covered the bunny here. What I basically did is just uh, make a steel frames, mask out the sky over here, move it the media on top of the bunny and make some feathering and make some scaling adjustment there. So once you've done that, uh, we're gonna do the same method where we're gonna basically parent the sky to our point layer. So we'll move the plate somewhere there, which is the beginning end point of our sky here and parent it to the point layer. Oh, before that, we don't do that just increase the length of the sky then we pair it to the point layer so it'll move along like so all right so now what we're gonna do enable the bunny here and see how it comes into place all right so now we're gonna animate the sky as well Somewhere there. All right. So for this kind of keyframes and animation here, you may need to take your time, like I said. So for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just gonna do do everything here roughly. So now we are pretty much done. So if I play the video clip, basically the still the still frames of the bunny slowly fades in. Same goes with the sky, and then I anim animate the still frames of the bunny using uh, the puppet tools. All right. So um, the harder spot for this edit here is basically putting the sky behind the bunny head because you want to basically sample the sky that you know nicely fit to the uh, sky on the actual clip, which, which uh, some part have partials, white sky, white cloud, some doesn't even have at all. So, so that you want to make the edits not too obvious that you are covering things up. Right, so you may need to take your time refining the sky as well the animation for the bunny. So that's pretty much how you um, make a um, static object in your video uh, moving around. And if you have any question related, you can leave it down in the comment section. And see you guys next time. Bye bye.